This is the Goblin Fortress. I built this. I'm sitting on a bucket that has a bunch of tools in it. And here's some twine. I forgot to bring it in for the wet season. So the box is kind of ruined now. The twine is fine. It's like a nylon or plastic. It's the same stuff I'm using to for the lashings on the tripods that I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, this is a work in progress, just kind of, a, kind of a fun thing I do. Most of what I do is with a big bowie knife to cut all the branches. I kind of abandoned the check to crypto service. I think it's too much of a niche market. I think I already talked about that. I'll move on, I'll talk about something else. The radio spot project. It's, someone else came up with the idea and I was like, oh, that sounds cool. It's an app. It gives you a list of AM and FM radio stations based on where you are. We have four members right now, and we need ten members uh, for our project to get greenlit. Let's look at this goblin fortress a little more. Okay, here's like the main part, and this thing kind of fell over. Um, the reason I built this was for our airsoft games. See the rock fort up there? It's kind of hard to attack. Um, in general, just because the rock fort is so easy to defend. And the idea with this thing is, is, is it's kind of a window, and from here you can shoot up at the rock fort. See over here, a bunch of tripods and some goblin tokens. It's obviously goblin territory. It's like the lol smiley face. It's a cutting board that broke. Let's see we got some string twine stuff dangling from one side to another. Yeah, it's just this closed in area and ideally every side would have brush like this on it so it's some concealment when you're in here. There are two entrances of course you could squeeze through some spots but I want to make it so it's easy to get in from this side which will be the attacking team and then it should be hard for the defending team uh, in the rock fort to get in here. Here's one entrance right there. There's a little overhead thing right here is going to be blocked off and then here's the second entrance okay I'm gonna work on it a little more I think my dad dropped off these trees for me to use my dad's the one who encloses those trees in metal so the deer don't eat them and he plants a lot of trees from time to time he's kind of a hobbyist arborist <laughs> That's how I get blisters on my hands. I gotta cut off all the branches so I can make nice tripods with the trunks. There's a, a tree disease called dwarf mistletoe, I think it is. When we first moved here, a lot of the trees had this disease. My dad went through and either cut down or chopped off the branches with the dwarf mistletoe. Because this stuff is like a virus, it'll kill the tree if you leave it unchecked. Or, I should say a parasite, not a virus. And it spreads from tree to tree because there's these little seeds that explode and fire, to and fire off to the different trees. Warning, blood, warning, blood. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I didn't even feel it. Maybe it's because it's so cold out here, my hands are kind of numb. Well, I got one tree debranched. I think that's enough for now. Back in the bucket you go. I found a bunch of smoke grenades that we forgot to clean up. This is my little work area. <clears throat> in my Hello. parents' basement. Yeah. I decided to work in here because too many distractions in my 
little house. A sink dot each. And now an unboxing from Shapeways. Unboxed. And now for an unbagging from Shapeways. Unbagged. This thing is so tiny and fragile looking. It's cool. There we go. It's new home. For this and more 3D printed trinkets, check out the Mines Forge shop on Shapeways. There's this really cool bacteriophage uh, virus that I want. It's so cool looking. Actually, I think I'm going to get it for my brother's birthday. One of my younger brothers, David, is in school right now for um, biology. He wants to do microbiology. He's always had a microscope. He's collected bugs. That's just right up his alley. All right. Oh, my van's not starting again. Let's see if it'll start now. Nope. Yeah, I ordered a starter. It's being shipped to me. Uh, hopefully that fixes it. I still need to replace the wires. I just don't like the wires that are connected to the battery, but I'm going to buy the wire from the place I used to work, or still still kind of work. I still do their website, but I don't go in anymore. Uh, they do work on emergency vehicles and etc. and they'll have the wire and they said they'll sell it to me for cheap. It's still gonna be costly though. It's big copper wire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a new patch for Legion of Legends! Legion of Legends! Hey guys, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Uh, um, Oh, I got this skin for free for being a good player. Yay!